Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. So today is a Canon patent day. Now, once again, we're on this comfy couch. Why? Because some of you guys said that you like this area, so maybe I'll use it more often. So this patent is very detailed very in-depth. It's over 30 pages long. So it came out on Friday. I was going to talk to you guys about it on Friday. I said, you know, I need the weekend to kind of distill down some of this information. It is very complex, okay? And I'm not an electronics major. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link to this patent in the comment area or in the description. I want you guys and gals to take a look at it. Some of you guys are much smarter than I am. Review it. Let me know what you think. If there's any gaffes that I make or any ideas that you have that might be different than mine or anything about this patent, please put it in the comment area below. Let's discuss it. So before I get into it, I want to ask that if you haven't went over to my website, jchristina.com, please do so. I've invented photography tools over the years. If there's something there that you might like, please pick it up and support me. That would be awesome. So it is very interesting. It talks about quad pixel. Um, AF. It also talks about parallax image capture and the idea of a hybrid camera or as they call it, an apparatus. Let me first get into parallax. Now parallax was introduced by Fujifilm back in like 2000, right around 2000. And it is the idea of capturing two images, maybe for 3D, but a lot of times the idea of capturing two images from different angles, they use it for determining where a subject is in a frame, right? So determining how far away a subject is from the sensor. Hence, being able to figure out how that autofocus is going to pull focus on the subject and do the facial tracking or whatever it needs to do. So parallax is very important. Now what Canon has done here is instead of just talk about quad pixel, it talked about this entire apparatus. It seems like a new camera and I'm going to get into that a little bit more. Every patent has to either be brand new or it has to be a revision almost to a mousetrap, right? Making the better mousetrap. So it lists the problems of doing X, Y, and Z, and then it depicts how we're going to solve the problem, okay? And that's really what this is doing. Now, problems that they address here, or what they say, is storage space. Obviously, when you're capturing multiple images, you're going to have a storage space issue. Also, read-write speeds. It's going to slow down the per frame right? Because we now are going to have to write more images. They talk about writing images as having a left image, a right image, and as they call it, a normal image, which would be that center. And then they use that data to be able to determine where things are in the frame as far as depth in the frame. Also, they talk about the amount of power consumption due to having a stronger processor and the idea of battery life being negatively impacted. And also they talked about compatibility and that the quote unquote apparatus that they create, if it writes these parallax images, will other apparatuses um, be able to read them? So there's a lot going on in this document. It's not a patent just for quad pixel. It's not a patent specifically for X, Y, and Z. There's a lot. It's almost a patent for a new breed of camera, a hybrid camera, and I'll get into that. They talk about the OVF as well as an EVF in this unit, and they talk about the actual driving um, unit that's doing it for display. Now, if you guys don't know, a OVF would basically be something that shows you the real world, okay? Like uh, looking through a prism, okay? You see the real world as it is. An EVF is that world now processed internal to the camera. So what you see is what you get, WYSIWYG, right? So you look through, let's say, for example, a Sony A7, and you look through that EVF and you change settings what you see when you take that picture is exactly what the picture is going to look like. That's an EVF, okay? They speak about processing units in here for both EVF and OVF. Now, they also talk about a mirror, but they say a half mirror. 
Never heard of that. Very interesting. What that is, I can only speculate, but it seems that this hybrid apparatus, as they call it, will have an OVF, an EVF, and a half mirror. Is it possible that, as I was saying in a couple of videos ago, Canon will be coming out with, instead of quote unquote, a mirrorless um, play against Sony, but a hybrid play against Sony, and will be able to accept EF glass? That is the million dollar question. If that's the case, they would really be able to put the pressure on Sony. And as far as Nikon, they'd just be out of the picture at that point, okay? Um, I really don't know if this is possibly what is going on here. It feels like it based on looking at this. And as they're talking about all the driving units within this, um, all of these things to me say hybrid, hybrid, hybrid and how they get very detailed into the parallax and not getting into saying quad. They depict quad, they show two pixels and then they show four pixels and they show an array of four pixels and how it's being captured. But they leave it as an N number so that they can possibly have an eight pixel instead of quad pixel or a 16 pixel down the road. And they also speak about a CCD as well as a CMOS sensor. So they can use this in multiple settings, in multiple apparatus that they speak of. So I think this is really, really big. This is not something that is a patent that's specific to, let's say quad pixel. It's very broad and it speaks about a new type of camera that they're working on, in my personal opinion. So once again, I am not an expert. I want you guys to look at this also. I'm gonna put, like I said, a link to this PDF document. It's I think 30 pages or so. Read through it. Some of you guys are gonna get more out of it than I did. Maybe you'll get a different take um, on it than what I have. Take a look at it. Let us know in the comment area, what do you think? What do you think Canon is planning with this specific patent? Broad patent, really hitting on a lot of aspects of this new quote unquote apparatus. Will this be their mirrorless play? I don't know. There's no indication in here. They never indicate, okay? They leave things more broad. They paint with a big fat paintbrush. They need to. So. That's really about it, guys. Please take a look at this. Let me know what you think. In the comment area, let me know what you think about this patent and let me know what you think will happen with Nikon and their dual pixel AF when Canon is literally coming out with quad pixel momentarily. I don't think it'll be any time longer than this year. By the end of this year, we're gonna see Canon with a quad pixel camera. I would almost guarantee it. What happens then with Nikon just coming out with a DPAF or their dual pixel. I don't know. I want to hear your thoughts. So that's it guys. As always, if you enjoy my content, please give me a big thumbs up. That would be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by smashing that subscribe button and clicking the little bell icon so that when the content does become available, you will be notified of it. And finally, Head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find a lot of photography tools that I've invented for you and me over the years, and hopefully there's something there that you might like. Please pick it up and support me. That's it, guys. Happy shooting to you. Have a wonderful week. We'll speak to you soon. Take care.